Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the super important question of the module 1 of ACA. So in this uh, video we will be discussing one question which is asked for 10 marks. So make sure you know this concept very well. What are the key points I will be discussing in depth. Make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. The first uh, the question is uh, regarding the illustrate the architecture of vector supercomputer with a neat diagram. Here you have to draw the architecture and then explain what is vector supercomputer and uh, uh, means uh, seeing the diagram you have to explain. So the main concept in vector supercomputer is the hardware of it. Okay, so you have to draw the vector diagram for the hardware and explain what's happening, what are the components present, and what are the functions happening. Let's have a look at one by one. What is vector? Vector consists of operands that uh, are of uh, n elements, means a vector is nothing but a quantity. Here we will be having n elements. Okay, that's what the first point you will be writing. The second point is each of the n elements can be of the form of integer, float, or a string. Okay, these are the different forms of uh, elements present in the whole vector. And these n elements form the length of the vector. The whole n elements form the length of the vector. The ve uh, vector length is determined by the n elements. Okay, then uh, we have to de describe about the vector hardware. How does the vector uh, hardware? Uh, consist of what does it consist of vector computer have hardware to perform the vector operations efficiently why do we have the vector hardware to perform the operations efficiently okay and it cannot be uh, directly used from the memory but are loaded into the registers vector things we cannot use it directly from the memory there are some things called as registers it is also used for the memory storage so uh, before using uh, the memory will be transferring whatever is in the vector quantity to the registers then we'll be using okay remember registers is used for the vectors now um, they are put back into the registers after the operation when the operation is done we'll be putting back into the uh, registers whatever the answers we have got and uh, it has a special ability to overlap or pipeline the operand, uh, operand processing. What is pipelining? Pipelining means performing through two or more tasks together. Okay, at the same time when you do something that is called as pipelining. Vector hardware has the special ability where in which you can overlap or pipeline the uh, operand processing. After I have written this much, you have to draw the diagram, which is this diagram here. Multiple processes are there. All these processes are pipelined into a single thing and the uh, answer is stored in another uh, register. Okay, this is, uh, this is called as a vector hardware. So what is the function happening here? The function is it uses the uh, pipeline fully segmented at each stage. These are uh, what called as segments. Okay, these small uh, lines and the spaces uh, in between them is called as segments. All these segments are combined and those are used as a pipeline. Okay, and they perform a step of functions on different operands. Different operands are there and they perform a set of operations on that. And finally, once a pipeline is full, a new result is produced on uh, each clock period. Clock period means a specific amount of time. After the specific amount of time gets over, we will be producing a new pipeline. So basically, you have to write what is vector. After that, uh, write what is the function of the vector, what it uses. It uses register. And how is its uh, vector uh, quantity? It uses the pipeline uh, technology in which the multiple process will be performing at a single time. And uh, you'll be getting the result. And those will be segmented and they'll be stored in the register. So basically, this is all what you have to write in the depth. And make sure you like button subscribe to channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one